there's a couple guys. I think Crash did this. Buckle up and strap in. We're headed for some serious drama. Hey everybody, Walter Wanders. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I want to thank you for coming. If you're returning, I want to thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It is very important to stay close to the channel in these crazy Crazy moto time. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows and sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, we got a big one to unpackage today. My gosh, we're exiting the summer. We got motocross and nations right around the corner, world supercross right around the corner. But the biggest race we have in professional motocross, supercross, is Anaheim. One, dude, let me just tell you, there is no bigger race than Anaheim One. As somebody that's been in the pits with riders, with teams, as a fan, in press booths, in the stands, you name it, rider seating. A1 is the most electric race that has I've ever seen. And I've been to the finales, I've been to openers of outdoors, I've been to finales of outdoors. Anaheim won for me and I, most riders, every rider, I can guarantee there is nothing bigger than Anaheim won. The silly season has already taken place, which we're headed for a massive, another massive, probably one of the biggest silly, silly seasons we've ever, ever seen to date. But the realities are most riders, and like Ricky always says, you can't win the championship at Anaheim won, but you can lose it. Most riders are like, I just want to get through the race. No pressure. There is massive pressure. Every big industry person in the world will be at Anaheim 1. The manufacturers, the teams, the companies, the sponsors. So much hinging on this one. If you walk away with the Anaheim 1 win, it is massive. But most riders try to convince themselves mentally because this is just as much of a mental sport as a physical sport. Your moto IQ has to be on point. That's why you see all these training factories now trying to produce not only the physically talented rider, the mentally talented rider. So the reality is our friends, we're about to see Anaheim 1 be the most anticipated race of the year, guaranteed guaranteed now it's yet to be seen if television a television package is going to pick it up and we're going to continue to have over controlled manufactured watered down supercross from our sport but even with that even with that alone even with the governing body continuing to just stifle the sport there's no way you can pull the electricity away from anaheim one because you know why if you win anaheim one it is massive first of all the prize money is, is pretty decent, not for the top riders, but for most riders, like even the top riders with their big factory contracts, the prize money is huge, massive. The second thing is, is you're going to be on the cover of every single magazine. You're going to melt the internet that next following day all over social media as the winner of Anaheim. Everybody wants to win Anaheim 1. Getting on the podium is not enough. You win Anaheim one, it is massive. So a lot of riders always try to tell themselves that. And, and that's what their teams are telling. We're all talking, just get through the race. Let's just go ahead and ride a good race. We'll see where we come out. Don't worry about winning this one. But listen, and, and that's the right way to go after Anaheim one. It's like Ricky said, you can't win the championship at Anaheim one, but you can certainly lose it. And Supercross is, is crazy because, I mean, it, one trip over the bars or a DNF, or a mechanical, your season's over, over. It is so hard for a rider to make it through a whole season of motocross or supercross without having a bad race. Like Ricky also says, you win your championships on your bad days, you're going to have a bad race. You just don't want your highs to be too high or your lows to be too low. You've got to always be on the box and in a position at the final round if you haven't already clinched it, which happens a lot. I don't think it's happening this season. I think we're going to have a barn burner, but we'll have to stay tuned to find out. In final thoughts, I come to you as an ex-industry guy. Somebody wants to see you win on and off the track. Understand, Anaheim 1 is still the biggest race in the year. For one of the riders to come out and win that race, it is massive. There's never been a bigger race than Anaheim won. The only race that comes close is if we come down to a few points separating the 
between the title contenders at the finale. But now that the finale isn't it, Vegas, Vegas is the only place to have the finale. We need to get this thing. I'm not sure. We're waiting for the schedule to come out. Drop it in the comments below of where the finale is this year, but I'm pretty sure it's not in Vegas. Huge disservice. Another disservice to the sport by the governing body. Get us back to Vegas for the finale. If you change Anaheim 1 as our opener, we're done. Supercross will be done. Stay tuned as we monitor this whole thing, but I hope Anaheim 1 is going to be another electric barn burner, and I'm pretty sure you do too. If you appreciate the content, I do want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video and other videos coming in your screen at this time, I know you're going to enjoy. As always, thank you for your time. Go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.